بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس امپورٹنٹ کوشچنس آف دا ناول روبنسن کروسو یو ہیو آلریڈی ریڈ دا اسٹوری ان ڈیٹیل ویل ڈسکس امپورٹنٹ لانگ کوشچنس وائل پریپیئرنگ دیز کوشچنس یو ول بی ریوائزنگ اینڈ ریکالنگ مین ایونٹس ان دا اسٹوری ایٹ دا سیم ٹائم دیز کوشچنس ول کور many points of the short questions important questions of the novel question number 1 write a character sketch of robinson crusoe discuss main themes of the novel first we see characteristics of the hero of the novel that is robinson crusoe robinson crusoe is the hero in the novel he is the central character in the novel the whole story revolves around him he is the most important character he is also the narrator he is individualistic brave courageous self reliant and adventurous he can do in every situation he does not yield to the adverse circumstances he never loses heart he faces every situation boldly he continually discounts the good advice and warnings of his parents and others he very boldly seeks to make his own life by going to the sea He is at times overly ambitious. He is unable to remain content with a comfortable life, whether in England or Brazil. His ambition to do something adventurous does not let him stop at any moment. Trapped on his island, he learns to survive all alone. He is not a devout Christian. He adopts himself according to the situation. He ends up becoming a devout Christian, repenting of his past sins and gaining a newfound confidence in God and his divine plan of providence. Robinson's uh, extreme individualism is at times heroic, but it also leads him to disregard others. He does not care what others will say about him. This defiance sometimes becomes a source of his stubbornness while he values the loyal friends he finds over the course of his journeys repaying and rewarding the captain's widow and the portuguese uh, captain uh, he treats friday as an inferior servant his self reliance can also shade into narcissism he seems to be self centered It is reflected in his narration's focus on himself and disregard for others. Most of the other characters in the novel don't even get a name, but in spite of all these faults, Defoe presents Robinson as the novel's intrepid hero who draws on reserves of ingenuity and bravery to survive incredibly against the whims of nature and fate. we are constrained to appreciate his self reliance now we discuss second question of the novel robinson crusoe that is themes in the novel we see different themes in the novel The major theme in Robinson Crusoe is the shipwreck that lands Robinson Crusoe on a remote unpopulated island in telling his story Defoe explores a number of themes a reader would naturally tie to such an enterprise self reliance the author says that the hero must rely upon his wits and courage to survive Robinson Crusoe chooses the right moment to escape from his slave master. He thinks quickly to push the moor, accompanying him on the boat. Overboard, 
he demonstrated self reliance in building his plantation in brazil he uses his self reliance to survive on the island crusoe sought through the goods on the wrecked ship to find just what he needs to survive and how he builds his rafts to bring it all ashore civilization a system of rules and orders governs crusoe's life even when he is isolated from civil society his concept of civilization is based on his experience with european culture and civilization he does not recognize that the native uh, natives who become uh, whom he encountered have civilizations of their own as a result he insists that friday must give up his cannibal ways wear clothing and learn to speak english it seems crusoe himself never adopts any of the cultural habits of the natives with whom he interacts progress during his time on the island crusoe moves from pure survival in the wild to hunting and farming it raises him to a kind of relative prosperity he makes his own tools and furniture he domesticated animals he plants crops he even establishes a small colony on his island christianity crusoe relies on god to take care of him he also fears god punishment for abandoning his family and for his lack of faith and gratitude in past occasions his quality of life improves as his faith in god becomes stronger he begins to believe that god has placed him on the earth for a reason crusoe teaches this faith to friday who is a quick study soon he seems to become as devoted a christian as crusoe but friday also asks questions that crusoe finds difficult to answer he stumbles over the answer but continues his teaching at the end of the novel he decides against resettling in brazil because he does not wish to live among catholics nature in robinson crusoe nature is one of the chief actors in guiding the plot it is nature that blows crusoe's ship onto the sand near the island it casts crusoe alone on that ship onto the shores of the island it provides calm seas to crusoe can uh, so crusoe can salvage all the tools food and other supplies from the wrecked ship it is nature that tracks the spaniard's ship it is nature that provides him with all the plenty that crusoe enjoys on the island along with long questions you have to prepare short questions as you know the pattern of the paper you have to attempt short questions too in uh, your paper for that purpose there are uh, many sets given in the book which you can prepare set 1 to set 12 you uh, do not need to prepare all the questions you just have to read them and you have to mark the questions yourself which you think that they are necessary or uh, which uh, you think that uh, they are important multiple choice questions are also a part of your paper uh in your book there are some sets set 1 to set 5 uh which contain uh, mcqs you have to prepare all these sets for your examination thank you